Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. You can go to any city in America, any city, Detroit, Atlanta, Los Angeles, um, Washington, D.C., New York, any city where we at. And we are what? Cursed shall thou be in the city. We cursed in the city with gang violence, drug dealing, prostitution. That's because we don't keep God's laws, statutes, commandments. All these man-made religions teach us don't read the Old Testament. It's done away with. Right. It's done away with. But who taught us those religions? The white man. He taught us those religions. So he's teaching us to destroy one another. He's teaching us to kill one another. He's teaching us to hate one another. It's our job, that's why we come out here, to show you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you are God's chosen people. That's right. That you have to come back to his laws, statutes, and commandments. Read it again. Cursed shall thou be in the city. You can go to any city in America, any city, Detroit, Atlanta, Los Angeles, um, Washington, D.C., New York, any city where we at. And we are what? Cursed shall thou be in the city. We cursed in the city with gang violence, drug dealing, prostitution. That's because we don't keep God's laws, statutes, commandments. It's, it's not the, that's not our culture, is it? What? Is that not our culture? What's that? Like violence and all that. Yeah, we was taught that though. Who who do, who do our people idolize? Today? Yeah. Entertainment. No. They idolize gangsters. And who are the original gangsters? Right. White people. Why do you think we got Yo Gotti's and, and uh, Lil Capone's and all this here? They idolize the white people, bro. They learned all that violence from them. That's why I said we was taught these things here in this land. And, that, and that's causing our, our conditions to deteriorate even more. Because now, since that's, that's been what we've been taught, and it's been passed on to generation to generation, each generation want to be rougher and better than the other generation. They want to make, like, they got this thing called Chirac Legends. Chirac Legends, bro. And who are these legends? Killers. Killers. So if they're the legends, who are the younger kids looking up to? Them. So what are, they, what are they gonna become? Killers. So I understand that we do need economics, but we need this here. We need God's laws, statutes, commandments in order to get our communities in, 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 in a better working condition in order to build up the economics. Right. So we need this. Keep reading. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Now we was cursed in the fields, right? Yeah. As you can see right here, we had to pick cotton. Our Northern Kingdom brothers, they picked tomatoes, oranges, fruits. Uh, our West Indies brothers picked tobacco, sugar cane, rice. So we was cursed in the field. And that's why I said to you earlier, um, first fire, last hire. We cursed in the job field. If you go to any, hey bro, hey bro, hey, are we cursed in the job field? No. No? We not cursed in the job field? We ain't the first, first fire, the last hire? Uh, what, this one? No, job field. Jobs in general. Jobs in general. I'm going to show you something, right? Beneficial for black people. I'm going to show you something, right? I'm straight. I'm talking about us as a people, brother. That's, we have to look at us as a people. Because we're trying to change our communities and the mind of the youth that's growing up into, in, into a world of nothing but violence. So we, as men, have to come together under one umbrella. And that's God's law to teach them to change and stop what they're doing. We can't think of ourselves as individuals. Why is it not okay for just for us to come together just as black people as opposed to why do we have to be a black Israelite or a black why don't you why can't you get along with the other black uh, religions so that all black people can be together? Because they all have different ideas. 
What's wrong with that? Because they don't look. All right, check this out. Say you got a religion, right? Let's say you got to sacrifice kids. Can you come together with them? You got a religion that sacrificed animals. Can you come together with them? You got a religion that says, no, we worship on this day. Can you come together with them? You got a religion that says, uh, you could uh, rape 13 year old kids. Can you come together with them? We can't. That's why as we say under God's laws, that's because who, who, who made us? God. So why not come under his laws, that's his commandments? Why not come together under his rules? You know what I'm saying? Like, let me show you something, right? On the plantation, when you see all them uh, old movies, and you see all the slaves, all the slaves out there picking cotton, how many white people out there? Probably one to every 10. Exactly. When you go to a, a job warehouse, and you see all the blacks, Hispanics, working in the warehouse, how many white people are in the office? One to every 10. Exactly. The slave fields, that was the, court, that was like the foundation of corporate America. Exactly. Right. And it's still and going on today. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. Get uh, you know, what's that, 3 and 36? Uh, what's that, 7 and 6? Uh, I'm gonna show you that today. Cause uh, you know, uh, our people, since we follow all these religions, we trust in the white man, right? We trust in him. Read what you got. This is the book of Baruch, chapter three, verse eight. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the lord our god you hear that bro we are yet this day read it again behold we are yet this day in our captivity we are yet this day in our captivity like it was back in the 1900s when we were slaves picking in the cotton field we still slaves today working in these warehouses we're still working under uh in subjection to the same person right. the white man we are still slaves. Read on. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach, a curse, and to be subject to payment. Again, remember when we was in Deuteronomy talking about these curses? Curse in the city, curse in the field. These are curses that's, that's on us. It's a curse for us to hate each other. It's a curse for us to want to sell drugs to each other. It's a, cra a curse for us to want to prostitute our sisters. That's, that's right. a curse, bro. So money is a curse? If you worship them, That's why all if, those things happen. If you if you if you put money before God, yeah, yeah, God say put nothing before Him. Read. According to all the iniquities of our fathers. So we're being under these curses according to all the iniquities of our forefathers, who turned their back on God's law. So we're out here to bring our people back to God's law, because that's what's going to change the curse. That's right. You see the movies when uh, somebody say, I curse you. And the curse won't be removed until they do something, right? right. That's what we out here to do. We out here to remove the curse. Go back to Deuteronomy. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you that these curses are still happening today. The people are still uh, beating our backs like here in this image. We still get our backs full. That's why I say we're the first fire, last hire. That's uh, 37, 37, 32. Read. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thy hand. You hear that, bro? Did that not happen to us back in slavery? Yeah. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Our sons and our daughters shall be given unto another people. When we came over here on this cargo slave ship from the west coast of Africa, the white man, so-called white man, took us and maybe sold our daughters and our sons unto another white man and sent our child to a whole nother state. Read. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Our sons and our daughters. And it's happening today with DCFS. If they, if they see, oh, your living conditions ain't fit, we taking your kids and they give them to foster parents and nine times out of ten that's another white family right what did they do to the uh, so-called mexicans on the border took all the kids bro bring it up and what did they do they told the family member you got to get a dna test five hundred dollars to prove that that's your kid what type of madness is that bro the curses bro read 
and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And our eyes, we, we, we look and we're like, what? All right, I'm gonna be a mother parent. They don't care. They take our kids, bro. This is documented in the Bible. What are we doing? We read the Bible. This is our history book. It's not a religious book. That's why we say we got to come up under these laws and commandments. Because all this happened because we refused to keep his laws. That's right. Read. And there shall be no might in thy hand. No might. We have no strength. We have no military power to do anything. Why do you think our people uh, march in the streets, pro protest, uh, no justice, no peace? We have no military might, none at all. But when we do these things, we do it with our enemies. And you think they really try to help us? When uh, when that happened to uh, Floyd, right? Allies mean all lies. All lies, bro. Because they had a hidden agenda. They hit an agenda was get the uh, police department defunded. They hit an agenda is to uh, get the LGBTQSRWZY uh, better laws. Right. Those are hidden agendas that they do. So when we when we in distress, they want to uh, connect themselves with us because it's a power play because they got more people. You know the law that just passed for January 1st, 2023? Uh, about the crime law? Yeah. No bail? Yeah. yeah. Meaning that second degree murderers, people that didn't kill somebody, go free. Yeah. You didn't rape somebody, go free. All the crime. You didn't beat somebody down, damn near to death, you could go free. So they finna flood the city of Illinois, the flood the state of Illinois with criminals. Right. They finna let them all free. What you think finna happen? Uh, crime's probably gonna spike. That's a curse. What if they innocent? Hey, if they innocent, all praise to the most high, they never should have been there. But we have no power. Read that part again. And no, there should be no might in thy hand. There's no might in our hands to fight back. We can be innocent all the time. Right. But if the white man say you're going to jail, you're going to jail. That's right. It is what it is, because we are under the curses, because we refuse to keep God's law, statutes, commandments. Teach. And that's what it all boils down to. Jump up to 37. No, no, as a matter of fact, go to 45. Let me show you something real quick, bro. Verse 45. Moreover, these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed. Because thou hearkest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Right there, these curses are going to come. Read it again. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee. So these curses have been after us. They've been on us because we've been passing down the same knowledge to our kids. Instead of teaching them the God's law and commandments, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not covet. These things are done away with, and we worship white Jesus. So now this stuff is pursuing us and doing what? And overtake thee until, until thou be destroyed. And how are we destroyed? How are we destroyed? Uh, through the curses, through the activation of the curses. We are destroyed through the activation of the curses. We're destroyed because now we believe that Jesus is a white man. We're destroyed because we believe that, oh, we should be celebrating the 4th of July. When in reality, we was what? at that time. Slaves. Slaves. We're destroyed because we believe we should be celebrating Christmas. For what reason? Exactly. That's how we're destroyed. Because they say, oh, we're doing this because Christ was born on December 25th, which is a lie. And they know it's a lie. But that was their way of getting pagans and, and Christians to unite together. You know what I'm saying? I am, right? Read. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed because thou hearkest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we refuse to hear his word. So we come out here to spread his word, to teach his word. And some are going to listen and some are uh, some not. Right. But them that fear the Most High God, they're going to hearken unto his voice, That's right. That's which is the Bible. Read to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. See, he gave us law, statutes, commandments. He never gave us Baptist, Catholic, Christianity, uh, Seventh-day Adventist, Jehovah Witness. God never gave us those things. He gave us law, statutes, and commandments, which made us better. 
than any other people on the earth. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 